We're using maths all the time in sports science in order to understand the load that we have on an athlete, the amount of movement that an athlete is doing, and also interpret the huge amount of data that we're collecting with an exercise in sports science. We use maths in a very creative way to understand how to score goals in sports, how to stop goals in sports, how to train athletes on a daily basis. We have to think about maths as being a pure science. But one of the unique things we're doing in sport and exercise science is applying that maths in a real world context. When I was in school, I nearly failed maths in high school, and now I'm a biomechanist. So as soon as we have real world context and real world problems, math simply becomes a fun way to solve puzzles. In many sports, it's not just about scoring the goals, of course. Once you use maths to understand how teams are scoring those goals, we can of course use that information to set up defensive structures to prevent the scoring of goals. So both sides of the game seriously need their maths and to understand the player movements leading to success and failure. Ironically, studying maths is the best way to improve sports performance.